My name is Jennifer Callender, and I'm an abortion survivor. Before I was born, two months premature, and only weighing two pounds, one ounce, I shared my life in the womb with another for a short time. Our time together was cut short just a few months before that when my mother had an abortion. From what I understand, I was not discovered until my mother noticed me moving around inside of her. She had thought she was no longer pregnant. She had no idea I was living inside of her. My mother rushed to the doctor to see what was wrong. The doctor discovered that my mother was still pregnant and was carrying twins at the time of the abortion. After being advised by the doctors that another abortion would be possible, my mother decided to keep me instead. She continued to have some issues with the pregnancy as I was struggling to survive. The doctors delivered me emergency C-section. I was born at 29 weeks and weighing only two pounds and one ounce. They described me as a healthy, vigorous baby. I was blessed to come through all of that and to come through so well. I grew, gained weight, had a strong heart and no problems throughout all of my childhood and to the present. All of the glory and honor goes to our Lord. He chose me. He saved me. He has given me life so that I can share it with others. I will never be able to change the past, to go back in time and allow the doctors to see my brother or sister. I can only imagine what it would have been like if they made it and what they would look like if they were a boy or girl. I picture us being so close and having a bond that is unbreakable. I feel like I miss him or her in a most interesting and spiritual way. It seems though at times that we are connected forever in my heart, in my soul, and in my life. Those bonds were not broken by the strings of real or tangible life as we call it. Because of a choice that was made, I will never have the privilege of meeting someone that was so close to my heart for such a short time. They will never get to experience life. My heart aches though at the thought that my twin brother or sister did not have a choice regarding their life. The choice their life was chosen for them. I allow myself to grieve and reflect on the undeniable facts that surround the truth. I embrace what their life has given me. I believe that even though the situation could be viewed as tragic or sad, that God has worked this out for good. He has allowed me to live so I can share my story with others. It is not about me, my twin, or my mother. It is about sharing what I have learned to glorify God. What happened to me early in my life was only the beginning of the other many challenging things that I would face. I have endured many hardships in my life. The last few years after having the Lord in my life, I've been able to appreciate more what I've been given. I have a beautiful life. I have children of my own who are all sweet, intelligent, giving and kind. I also have the greatest husband who is also my best friend. Our boxer Missy is also part of our family. She gives us great joy. I was not rejected. I was not forgotten. I am loved. I have a hope and I have a future. The same is true for you. No matter what you go through, you can choose to live free, joyous, and peaceful. You can choose to forgive others and have compassion. Thank you for allowing me to ha have life, to be a mother, wife, and beautiful woman that you created me to be. Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things work together for good. 
to those who love God, to those who are called according to His purpose.